In this video, I explain you how it's possible to insert in TechnoMetal one model, design and verify it. At first, we start to insert wireframe in TechnoMetal. After to insert a wireframe, you can insert the profile. As you see, you can change the vertex to insert and then you select one vertex in a wireframe and insert the column. After to insert the column with the same command, you can insert beam. To insert beam, I change the typology of the, of the profile, the vertex, and change the typology of the insertion. I insert from level and I select level 1. As you see, you can put the data in all points in your wireframe, but TechnoMetal insert only in level 1. Now we can insert the beam in the other play in the other side of our wireframe. You can insert using the command of TechnoMetal, or if you prefer, you can use the AutoCAD command. Now I copy the beam and I insert with AutoCAD command. It's not necessary to insert only wireframe. You can insert, oh, in this way I first I insert in the space. Now I insert from midpoint, in the midpoint, and you can insert directly with command AutoCAD. As you say, it's possible insert in CAD environment. Now I delete this one and the other this one. Now we start to insert some bracing. I insert two bracing in this example. This is the first. You can choose the typology of the bracing from Mark of Technometal. After you can choose from the database and you save. To insert, you select only four points in the wireframe. After the select one po four points, you confirm the data and Technometal automatically design the bracing with all element that is necessary from fabrication. I insert another bracing this way. After this one, you can use other macro from Technometal. For instance, we use the macro from Automatic Towers. Truss. And we insert one truss that I have in my database. As you see, you can change the typology of the truss. You insert a point. Now I insert this one out of the my wireframe. Because I want to explain to you, and it is important for me that you understand that it is possible to design in all places on AutoCAD environment. You can copy the element and insert. So it's not necessary to use only the macro, but you can use copy command from AutoCAD. Now we insert uh, some power lines. To insert this one, you select the full point. I use the end point command. And after, you open the macro. As you see, it's automatically compiled. You can change some data, you confirm, and automatically TechnoMetal design for you. As you see, the parlance is complete with uh, a touch and node. Okay. Now we start to insert join and then connection. At first, we insert the base plate. I insert all in two to see you how it's possible.
use the plate that we have in database. You can change the data and do your confirm. You can select the column and automatically TechnoMetal insert the base plate. Okay. As you see, it's easy to insert the base plate. Now I insert the connection between column and beam. I select beam and column. You can change all this data and you can save in database. I confirm one that I have in database, confirm another place and automatically insert. As you see the command is already ready to use during this video. I change the typology of the connection here. So you can change the connection selecting by database or you can create your personal connection. Another one in this place. The connection is complete with all element uh, that is necessary to fabrication. The beam in Technometal is a concept that all element as we insert is complete with all information for fabricator, for CNC machine or for manual work. Now insert another topology of the connection. As you see, I don't put from database, but I insert the data. So I can use the same data for all elements that I want. Okay. After to insert uh, is possibility to copy level 1 from level 2. You select this command and as you see automatically Technometal command level one copy level 1 from level 2. This is useful when you need to create a building with more than one floor. With macro I insert one stair. This is one stair external stair. You insert the point in section and the macro insert automatically the stair. This is the real time that is necessary from Technometal to design the stair. The stair is complete with step and unrail. For me it's important that you look we insert all bolts, all element uh, that is necessary to create and to fabricate this stair. This is a security stair for instance. Now we have designed the handrail. And at the hand you can see the final stair that is necessary for this building. This is complete. The stair is can be designed outside the wireframe or inside the wireframe. And if you want to have some reference, it's possible to use the AutoCAD line to design it to insert the reference. For instance, now insert some two lines of AutoCAD to have a reference insert another stair and this stair I insert in uh, inside the building. I have my reference point designed by AutoCAD. Select the Technometal menu. I want to insert this spiral leader. I select one from database because it's more easy for me to insert the point and the all element, all data. As you see, it's possible to change step, handrail, both in a stair 
automatical leader and uh, in this way as you see technometer design a step hand and rail automatically a hand is important for me that you understand that you have all information for fabrication both in this way that in the way now we have inserted the stay is insert the handrail and uh, as all macro in technometal you can save your property there and you can use for further element for further project this is our complete building and now i start to verify this one in the second part i see you how it's possible to verify the sack we are only in AutoCAD environment with Technometer. As you see, I change only the Technometer menu. Now open Technometer Structural Analysis menu and select the normative setup. I choose the normative. I clear all elements and I insert in general setup. The data you can change. I select the person, I choose the person and I insert uh, some more information that I wanted to verify. After this one, view, we insert uh, the typology of the load. The typology of the load has been concentrated, linear, surface, thermal, and automatically, technometal prepare the combination now insert one surface load we have a dead force and the life force if you want you can add another one or you can delete the same insert another one we have dead live and I insert this new you can change the typology of the the load in the surface the combination will be created automatically but if you want to you select a line and you can change the data after to insert uh, the typology of the load we go in wireframe and in wireframe we insert the load in the stack to insert the load in the model you select the typology of the load and what load you want to insert. Now insert the surface load typology 1. In the second you can insert the surface lead typology 2. To insert load as you see is easy in AutoCAD environment. To prepare this model I finished to insert a connection and all elements. In this case, I don't insert external act uh, action of load. I put in a structural view and I go to read the drawing. With read the drawing open automatically a calculation verification environment. This is the same model in our structural analysis uh, uh, environment. This is I don't insert the external concrete, so automatically we insert at the level zero. If you don't have our uh, our solver, you can use sub 2000. In this case, if you use uh, sub 2000, all this part of demonstration is in sub 2000 environment, but is automatically. You here in our solver, you can change the elements and the data. 
So it's possible to view in the format model is processing the data this is a little 3d cad now i look you some and the format some moment some force that you have on the beam all this load is divided into dead or life and if you select one in the right view window you see the initial and final value the section the material all information that you have insert in AutoCAD environment this is the load case oh it's more bigger I put more just a little now you look uh, it's possible to view the moment and uh, we can view the modal cases and the combination the combination is different as you want all node is possible to look at to insert the displacement for max and minimum if you want it's possible to, to view the animation of the structure is the same uh, that you can see with a sub 2000 solder this is the animation of the model you can rotate and view all animation during this phase okay that is good after to look uh, the animation it's possible to go to verify the reaction force force and mod as you see I put uh, I touch one element uh, in the model and in the window of right appear all data preferring uh, the single element that uh, I select now you can look at the moment uh, if you want uh, it's possible to change the view in any way any time that you want it's not necessary to enforce select the data at the first you can change during the verification now is more easy to see the layer active or unactive layer you can change this one for instance I unactive one layer to look you more easy the moment and the combination We rotate the model and as you see now we all of you to see the uh, the data for position this is the data for position for the beams we work at uh, finite elements now we are looking for building data beam and we are select all sector and we verify the structure in this way we select the model it's finished ok this is the all combination minimum and the maximum for each beam we come back in structure and we check the beam and then check the connection when they are in red color it means that it is not correct uh, for the norms green color is ok is correct now we as you see have this beam is red to see what is it the problem you select the beam 
and look at the verification. Now open another window when you have the data only of this beam, not all of the factors. So oh, this is a little beam because I have a ratio. This more beam gap than one is not correct. We change the topology of the beam and have a preliminary check. As you see now the ratio is correct. We can save. Another thing that you can prepare for the beam, in this case I change another topology of the data. I look the beam, is red, ah, and the problem is in the resistance verification. So you can change manually the data, change preliminary check, and you look it is correct, that is good, so save the data. Now in this way it's white, when I put white it's, it's over the mason. It's the same way for the connection. As you look, this is not verified because it's an input error data. I do a mistake. So I insert a topology of the concrete and verify the factor, the connection. This is a little represent of the data, verification report data. At the hand, we have verified the connection. I select OK, now the hard beam. I don't change here all elements that is necessary to change because I want to explain you that it's more easy to change in a design CAD environment. Now I look you what is it the calculation report. I select all typology of the verification report. This is more complete. I save is an HTML format file. So it's possible to open with all PC. Now you have a general data, origin calculation software, and then we start with the analysis parameter. The analysis parameter, select the design sector, the colored combination, and at the hand we add the all information for each beam. Each beam is with his property combination. When in a um, report is in red, it means that it has some problem. The summary of the check is this one. So you can look you at all combination and all combination with problem or without. Okay, that is all part of combination. Now we come back in CAD environment because I explain you how it's possible to look what is it the shape, change and modify in external environment. As you see, I have these two. I use the yellow color to change. We select the property from technometal and change the typology. As you see, I have in beam change what is it, the, the beam that I needed to change, uh, how I needed to change. So here I go to the property and I select the structural data and I insert the new factor for epsilon and zeta. After you have insert all this data, data you go to update the list and as you see at the rate Update is okay, is correct. To change the mod to change the beam in the model is more easy because you can select from technometal what is it the same model and change. Oh now I change the color. This is outcut property. You can look uh, and find in the same way the connection will be changed. I select the connection. I modify the collection and set in this way the combination, the concrete. I accept the, con the modification. And now I update and my connection changed the color. If you want, you can modify multiple. And with this command, 
you can modify with one click all same connection you have in the model. Now we are mm, changing the elements, the same elements. I explain to you it's more easy to change uh, to prepare this mm, this way at all working this way in CAD environment, not in CHI environment during the calculation. Now we export this model from other software. In this way I export from Revit out the Revit. The export is correct and after I open out the Revit open out the Revit, I go to Ardens menu and I import from Technometer. Ok, in Revit you have all structure that you have important from Technometer. In this way you can see we have a stair, we have a bolt, we have a bracing, a base plate and connection. This element is not external um, element, but they are uh, Revit family. In fact, when we export from Revit, we create Revit family. As you see, you can select the user family. You can change the data from the family. Now I don't change. All element created from Technometal will be modified directly in Revit you have this select this connection and as you see this is a complete connection with bolts and plate and more important with the information from fabrication now you can insert uh, architectural elements if you want uh, concrete window doors that is necessary so this is the final elements that is possible to uh, obtain from uh, Technometal and Revit. We insert some architectural elements. But it's not only with Revit, so it's possible to export to Tecla Beam site or to Navy's work or Inventor. Okay, thanks to you this video. I hope you understand all. But if you need more information, this is my data when you can contact me. Thank you.